Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to do a parameterization in this protocol. Previous videos have, have explained how to do a correlation and add the transactions to, to assertions and what is correct. In this, uh, in this uh, video we will see how to do a parameterization. Like generally we pass the data what user enters uh, from the application so that we will do a parameterization. For that, uh, open your script and left side you will see the option called parameter, parameters. Just click on the parameter, it will open the uh, screen or for your listed parameter. So I have already did the parameterization for the user, but I will create a new, new parameter in the screen. Uh, let's create a parameter name. So I'm giving notation starting with the P, the correlation ID is added. So when another user with who is going to use your script and or viewing you, uh, like monitoring your script or uh, validating your script, so they can understand what that is like. It means parameterization is the correlation. Okay, now I'm giving the login ID. So, so we can give, uh, I have given the same field as an a uh, p underscore username uh, other, as another parameter, but I'm creating a new parameter with uh, p underscore login ID. Now we have a option, only one option, which is file. In the web protocol, you will have different options, a parameter, like parameter or date or different kind of options, like that. Okay? But here we have an, only one option that is file. So uh, if you already created a JSON file, just copy that into your script folder or else you can create a new file here while creating the while creating the name. Just I'm creating the login IDs dot uh, Okay, but it will save it as a TXT uh, because it's not showing it as a text document. That's so convenient. I'm giving it as a login dot uh, login dot IDs, but uh, some typo. Just open okay, okay. Click it here, okay. So now, one file for the file uh, login dot id.csv.txt dot csv dot txt it created a parameter called p underscore login id, but we don't have any data here. Okay, for that, click on add column. So it will create a column here. Now, this is the actual uh, variable, it will uh, have it in your uh, have it your own file, csv file. Okay, login id. So this is the column now. Uh, I'm giving another column also, add column. So this here I'm giving it as a PWD, okay? Because P password is already we have a column name as a password, so I'm giving P underscore PWD password, okay? Now open the external editor. So this is the one of the call, this is the one of the variable, and this is the one of the variable. So login ID is the one of the variable, and uh, PW P underscore PWD is another variable. Now I'm giving the username. Test for so test user comma admin one two three as a password and I'm saving it. Okay. Now go to the uh, go to your uh, parameterization. So here we have created two columns, but only one variable is defined. Okay. Now click this click this uh, uh, p underscore login ID. First column is selected. Okay. So the p login ID matches with the p login ID, so it was selected. If you want to create a new variable, you want to create a new, I mean the PWD, if you use P underscore PWD, that will not understand your uh, load, uh, load runner dev protocol because you have created the text data with the PWD but not attach it to your variable. Now I am created another variable, like P underscore PWD and select the previously created file. So we created the previously login ID.js, right? Select the same file, go to this. Now select the PWD and uh, select the column, select the column PWD and click here select column. Okay, so if you go to the login ID, it will show you the login ID as a value. If you go to PWD, this will be highlighted. Okay, uh, if you okay, click on this, it is highlighted. Uh, click on this, the PWD is highlighted. And here you can apply the options or whether you want a sequential sequential or same as the p username or same as password whatever you want okay sequential unique random and uh, update on each occurrence or uh, once okay and each iteration I click in each iteration and if you want to the check the uh, check the uh, the allocated values so you can go here go here hiding it hide hide
here you have an option called uh, automatically uh, block size so you I mean, below you will have a view option uh, you will have a view option here so if you click on the option you will click the other radio button so if you change this you change this option if you change the option then you will be seeing the you will be seeing the options like to view the blue block size so what are the for which user what now let's now now take this variable name p underscore uh, p underscore login id so here the variable so this is the option that we need to use to load the variable so load dot params dot your variable name your variable name the variable name is p underscore login id uh in the external editor go to the go to the name so your uh, script go to replace your uh, i'm adding the variable name p login id okay so now it will load the data of um, login id a uh, login id okay if you want to add for password you need to use the password also p underscore pwd okay p, small p p underscore p pwd okay now the it was saved in the username it was saved in the password so now you can take this um, username or you can take this username and uh, you can pass this in your respective fields i'm passing this here so the same like regular expression uh, i mean the correlated value you need to if if you are using the any any of uh, parameters and correlation or any uh, dynamic variable then you need to use the uh, the inverted the single quote uh, to pass your uh, value so i'm using the username and password so if you want to change the value to uh, for every iteration it will change but you wanted to change the same iteration on specific occurrences then you can call the same value again load params dot login id it will go to the next value okay it will it will it will give you the next value next row uh next to row of the value when you call the load dot param dot p login id so this will be the same for all the all the variables but here you need to change the actually parameter name then only you will get the data so if you give there is any typo if there is any if you forgot to create a parameter uh, in your uh, uh, in your parameter field then it will give you the undefined value make sure you have using that so now uh, just to replace uh, just uh, replay i'm replaying the video now uh, it will pass the dynamic i mean pass the parameter value now just will show that in that will show you output tab I'm also not showing it. For you. You go here. Do the summation. The texture field. You see here. Then password is passed. Between one to three and test to user one to three. So now I will change a simple thing just to avoid. Uh, I mean, from here I'm giving PWS. So we don't have the parameter name called P underscore PWS. So we don't have parameter name called P underscore PWS. Now I'm trying to run it. You will see it as an undefined value. Okay, value as an undefined. Hmm. Just uh, wait for the execution. Complete. Tap. You see the request. You see the request. The password is undefined. Okay, so that's how it will work, friends. Thanks for listening this and uh, this to subscribe and uh, watch our.
Thanks, Philip.